Hi, I'm Justin with Roland Professional AV, here to cover some troubleshooting tips for HDCP. What is HDCP? It's basically copy protection that's part of an HDMI signal. Note that SDI, USB, and analog video signals do not support HDCP. Also, HDMI recording and streaming devices are not compatible. There are only a few situations where you want to enable HDCP on your Roland switcher, so let's dive into why. Have you ever tried to connect the DVD or Blu-ray player to an input on a video switcher and it didn't appear? That's because disc players output HDCP at all times. Laptops, media players, and game consoles typically apply HDCP when playing movies and TV shows from a streaming service. If you need to bring a copy-protected video source into your Roland switcher, there's a setting for that in the system menu. For most switchers, open the menu and scroll to the end to select system you will see HDCP as the first option on the list. Once you turn on the HDCP setting, the video will briefly reset, so do not do this during production. You will now see the copy protected device as a video input, but you still may not see output. Remember that SDI, USB, and analog video outputs are disabled when HDCP is turned on. Also, HDMI output to streaming or recording devices is prevented, but display devices like TVs and projectors are not affected. All this is not a limitation of Roland switchers. It's part of compliance with copy protected signals. If you need these disabled outputs or you need to stream and record, then HTCP needs to remain off in the system menu and you need to reroute the copy protected source without using the Roland switcher. We hope this overview helps with your troubleshooting. If you need additional support with HTCP or any other issues, please visit roland.com backstage and we will help. Thanks for watching. Thank you.